Hello, welcome back to Stellaris. I think we're on episode 6. Uh, don't take my word on it. Of course, you'll know already. I'm just saying that for no real reason. I, I just noticed that our, our rivals down here are, are in this... Their home system is Kirill, and their home planet is Kimnar, which is actually... The, so they have the same naming convention as um, my last... My Trial Empire. Uh, the same Insectoid naming convention. Insectoid 3, I think? Or Arthropoid 3? Okay. So, we're working. Building that frontier outpost here. And what are you doing? Pawn far class. I like that. We're studying that anomaly. We are building what here? Nothing. Oh, that's right. I was thinking about... I wanted to build a... Um, uh, where are you? Jorman Deer. Right. Yeah, I wanted to build a military station here, but we don't actually have the tech for it yet. It's going to be soon, but not yet. And I think we should build it toward the bottom. Is there anything else I can do here? We might as well, since we're here. Um, we can't afford anything for some reason. Why not? Not within our borders. Oh, right. This front, other frontier outpost has to be built first. Jormandir isn't in our borders? Surely Jormandir is in our borders. Lies within a chill hangout space. Oh, he wasn't in Jormand. Oh, whoops. So where are you? Okay, so this is the one we want. Yes. Um, since we're here, let's start harvesting the Bethian stone. Yud cruiser. Didn't I already say to build a? Didn't I say to build a Bethian power plant somewhere already, or or am I being crazy? Because that would be bad. Because we don't have any Bethian stone yet. Issue special project derelict cruiser. The remains of a Ute cruiser have been found in orbit around Polgara. Seems to have fallen weakened to, vec to weapons fire, but given the extreme age of the Hulk, it is difficult to be certain. There is no indication the ship was ever equipped with an FTL drive. It must have traveled between stars at sublight speeds. Or maybe it didn't travel between stars at all. Situation log updated. Um, where is it? Construction complete. Precursor is the Ute. Derelict cruiser. Just need a scientist with skill level 4 or higher. So we actually have that. We have you. You are a scientist with skill level 4. Let's just, um... No, okay, finish researching first. Finish surveying. Construction of the spaceport upgrade is done, which means we can build this now, Corvette Assembly Yards. And we know what we will. Um, we need to do this, too. But we need the next technology for it. Hopefully as soon. Research complete. Uh, what do we got here? Orbital hydroponic farms, frontier clinic, or naval capacity. I think the frontier clinic. If we increase the habitability, no, 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 wait, no, that's not true. I'm thinking of happiness. I'd like to get happiness up to 80% because there are bonuses for that, but frontier clinic isn't going to help with that until we've colonized places that. I think it's got to be the orbital farms. It's not going to be these guys. It's just not worth it. It sounds cool, but it's not It's not as good as it sounds. And... Take me to it, please. Click to select, double-click, or right-click to go to. I was double-clicking the hell out of it, and it wouldn't go to it, but anyway. Um... This system is not in our borders, right? No. So our construction ship is doing nothing here. We should probably just... I thought that maybe we'd have this under our control before then, but we're going to need to just send them to do something else. Like, uh... Go... Where are you going? Building Jormundir Mining Station. Oh, you're already in Jormundir. Okay, then. I guess you should just hang out. Be idle. It's fine. Construction doesn't really complete. cost us much in terms of energy credits to just have them idling. Is that already done? That was fast. 
What did I just build? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. How are my planets doing here? I think we might want to build a second spaceport as well. Um, before we build destroyers. So we might save up for that. Since then we can build destroyers and uh, other stuff at the same time. So, it's expensive though. It's also expensive. But we're going to start gathering some more minerals. That's good. Complete. And uh, we'll just leave everything to build up a bit. There's no need to build any more. Um, uh, make sure everybody stays slaves who should be slaves. Yes. You should probably build something better than mine. And be enslaved. And you could probably build a mineral silo? I don't know if there's any real reason to do this. I've never been at maximum storage capacity of the minerals. Uh, there's just always something to spend, spend it on. I don't know why you would need it. Basic power plant or more mining. I think we'll go with the power plant and emancipate. Wow, their happiness dropped down really far for some reason. Was enslaved. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Research. Considering I've had plenty of slaves before. Countermeasures. Or a central point defense, rather. Yeah, I controlled colony ships. Now that's pretty cool. Our guy is specialized in that. Or the physics lab. I think we've got to do this, complete. though, for the starters. The physics lab will come back. System survey complete. Uh, defense station. 63 months, you kidding me? 63 months, really. In the depths of space. Oh, okay. Oh, that's different. That's interesting, but that's different. I'm thinking we want to do instead destroyers here. If we're going to take 63 months to research something. Uh, system surveyed Polgara. Excellent. Let's take you. Survey somewhere else. Like... Did we survey this? Yeah, we did. Survey this red dwarf here. Class M is red dwarf. You had the right idea, actually. Go ahead. Construction complete. Oh, we finished building a thing, didn't we? Did you just finish building the thing? The mining outpost, okay. Okay, so what I want you to build now over, let's see, I don't know if we want it next to the mining outpost exactly, but maybe near the entrance to chill, it doesn't really matter because it's going to suck them to wherever it is, actually, I don't know, alright, yeah, next to the mining outpost is the best because that works either way, we need to build, well, ruler, unique military station, under our system of government, we can build a single, more powerful military station once in a ruler's lifetime. Whoa. What does that look like? Where is it here? Construction ship, science ship, defense platform. Once in our ruler's lifetime. Well, how old is our ruler? If he's old, maybe it's a good time to do it. Only 49. She, Empress Erba, is only 49. So... How much is, you know what the heck, it's right next to their space, so maybe this is a good place to do it. They probably won't be expecting it. Where would they attack first, if I were them? Actually, if I were them, I might go for my frontier outpost, but I think I'll build one there too. I'll, pro I'll probably try to build one in each of these places. I'm going to need more um, energy credits shortly here, but let's go ahead. Zik Mit class defense platform. Okay, let me take a look at that again. Is it in here? Zik Mit class defense platform. Medium station section. I mean, it doesn't seem like the best to me. It seems like garbage. 
Alright, I was thinking we would do... Snare. Offensive aura snare. Effect on hostile ships. Jump charge time minus plus 400%. Sublight speed minus 50%. Emergency FTL jump cooldown 100%. But here's the best part. FTL inhibitor. Incoming hostile fleets will be forcefully redirected to this station. Yeah, that's pretty much amazing. So we can load it up with weapons and do that. I can't believe this is the best though. Why would I have... Okay, medium nuclear missiles. Why wouldn't I use the fissions? Right? And some sentinel point defense, I suppose. Oh, you can't. Oh, we're not going to do that. We need to have uh, some smalls in there. Uh, four smalls. The thing is, I just I don't know what they have. What's H? I can never find out what H actually is. But, uh, high, I suppose? P is for point. But you can put the point defenses on the smalls. I don't get it. Oh, how am I doing on time here? Doing... I seem to always remember to check the time. I'm doing just fine. I seem to always remember to, to check the time at the halfway mark for some reason. Uh... Why are these all the same looking, too? That's kind of annoying, isn't it? I guess it's just because they're on either side, but... Oh, they are, they are totally the same, actually. Check that out. Four slots versus one slot versus two slots. I see. Hanger is more like... Oh, H is for hanger. Okay, for like strike path, strike craft. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, L is for large and so on. So, if we do this, and then grab some more, let's see, what's better here? 9 to 14, 5.5, 100%, 26. Uh, 7 to 12, range 30, different range. But I think these are better, generally speaking. Now we're gonna be way short on power. Especially when I put in these deflectors. Oh no, that's actually fine. Okay, wait a minute. Do the deflector on large then. And then that didn't quite do it, did it? What if we what if it, what will it do now? Oh, shoot. Alright, that's the auto-completed ship. And it's pretty good. I'm thinking, though, this sucks, and we need to do more point defense, because we need point defense just in case they have point defense. Just in case they have missiles, too. Which I don't know, but... Uh, where is it? Make this point defense. Point defense. And make this missiles. This is fine with me. Wouldn't mind having more medium deflectors, but I guess there's a limit. You are still using snare. And we will call this... Uh, chill trap. Or just trap. Or just malaise. Because, you know, chilling and malaise, it can be kind of... Related. <laughs> Alright. Now that we've done that... Take our construction ship. Build ruler unique station. And Malaise, as you can see, is more expensive, more maintenance, but it's gonna be better. Okay, and let's uh wait, I don't know, maybe I'm just worried about it being right next to this. And I think this is gonna move anyway. It's fine though. It's a pretty good spot for it. All right, we also need to get more energy credits in the docking. Um, you have a power plant. We, we already have a Bethian. Oh, okay, what we got to do is find our best power plant. Uh, these two right here. One of these. It doesn't really matter which. Find our best power plant and upgrade it to Bethian or replace it with a Bethian power plant. Uh, it will produce six uh, power versus... What are we producing right now? Three, so big difference. And we can upgrade it too. Now, unfortunately, we only have one Bethian stone coming in every month, so we're going to need to get more Bethian stone if we want to upgrade the other one or replace the other one. But we will eventually find some, I'm sure. 
How's this risk chance? You know what? No, you're busy actually. You're busy. You are not. And we are really low on minerals. We need to get more energy credits. I think we need to build uh, an energy, some energy stations out here. Oh, look at this, four. Wow. Gaseous planet with an atmosphere par primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. Yeah, I suppose that, that is energy, right? Just move here. Enter orbit of this planet. If they're not in orbit, I guess the planet drifts away from them. Because I do know that they rotate and all, but do they actually move is the question. And I think that they do. Try to watch, you know, it relative to its surroundings. I think they very gradually do move. Anomaly Maybe not, though. Found another anomaly. Uh, the massive asteroid ATDX-1. Construction complete. Um, Alright, research it. Something. Further investigation is warranted. Hostile fleet detected. Wiggler planet. Um, surface. Oh yeah, we do want to build another spaceport soon too. What's going on over here? Anyone need to be enslaved? No. Everybody's happy, huh? Except you. You're not happy. Was enslaved will go away eventually, but unfortunately, it doesn't tell us when. Like it would in U4, or probably even Crusader Kings 2. Well, no, not Crusader Kings 2. Construction complete. In the case of like ruler modifiers, when people have issue or player modifiers, you know, opinion modifiers, it doesn't seem to be a timer on a lot of those in Crusader Kings 2. Or there does, but it's not stated. In my experience. You go, dude. You go, dude. Incoming transmission. Oh. Diplomatic proposal. Star charts for star charts. Do you like? Do you guys like us yet? I mean, why would I do this? No. I don't mind getting their star charts, but they're right next to me. There's no point. Like, I don't care about this stuff. You know what I should do though? Before I get trapped in here, maybe, is grab a construction ship. Send them here. Come on. Oh, I can't view it yet? Alright, fine. It's gonna take him a while to get there, though. I'm really annoyed that they took out a lot of the stuff that you had in EU4, like when things would arrive. Why wouldn't we be able to calculate when a ship would arrive? It's, it's exactly what we would do if we were in this situation. We would have it... Like, GPS, for God's sake, tells us when we can arrive. And that's primitive compared to this stuff. Mining your own business. Deep within a crevice of the giant asteroid ATDX-1, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to this rock. Digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid, it stands abandoned, with no sign of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it, but we must hurry before the random debris crushes it. Uh, okay. Obviously, we will try to scrap Situation the topic. Updated. Hopefully, we will win. Let's see. You are surveying, okay. Oh, I see, it's, a, it's something we have to do here, huh? Special project. Okay, research track on, okay, go to. Oh, we need a construction ship, okay. Let's have the construction ship go, research it then. If it can make it there in time. Which, it should be able to. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I had to enter orbit because I wanted it to build thing here, damn it. It's fine. What hostile fleet? Spaceborne Organics. Uh, space Amoebas. That's a lot of them. That's a strong bunch of Space Amoebas. What are they doing? Evading Hostiles. Don't do that, you idiot! Did you just give up making your thing? Where are you? Oh, you idiot. You came from here? All right, so we did make the defense platform. That's cool. And it is going to take, it has the FTL inhibitor. I've never built one of these before, so we'll see what happens when the war starts. It has a range like this, so anyone who attacks us will be within that range. Uh, it's a bit far from my wormhole, but that's fine, I think. And we are running out of time for this episode. 
let's find out what's going on with that with space amoebas. We have strength of 273, and where were they again? In here, right? Did they disappear or what? Anomaly found. Another anomaly. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from this craft can be found in the impact crater. Uh, research it. Invading hostile fleet. You're an idiot. You know that? Alright, go back to where you were. There is. I need to stop and take it. I need to stop right now and figure out where everything is. It's starting to get a little complicated. A tiny bit complicated. So, I will start again with the next episode. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more Solaris and Dark Souls and other stuff. Until next time, bye-bye.